hey guys welcome back to another video so today i'm going to be talking to you about my goals for 2020 this is the first video in 2020 and i'm super excited for all the things that are to come in 2020 um i'd love to hear if you've got any new year's resolutions or goals for 2020 let me know in the comments below um but yeah i've got my hot chocolate and i'm just gonna sit and talk to you about my goals so let's get into the video I'm wearing a cosy jumper and I've actually got my Dumbo pyjama bottoms on, not that you can properly see, but I, I figured I'd film in front of the fire, I don't think I've filmed in front of the fire before, um, I might have um, a couple of years ago um, with Chloe and Georgia uh, for Christmas videos, um, but I just thought I'd dress like this so it's super cosy because even though Christmas is over it's still winter and we still need to be cosy and that is why I've got my hot chocolate. Now this hot chocolate is gonna totally contradict what I'm about to say, because my first goal of 2020 is to lose weight. Um, I've never said this before, but I actually currently weigh 10 stone. Um, I did used to weigh uh, 12 stone. So I have lost about two stone in total. Um, and I'm very happy with where I'm at, but I'm not where I want to be just yet. But that is my first goal of 2020, is to lose weight. I don't want to lose an excessive amount, um, but mum brought a treadmill and a rowing machine that we've got in the shed, so that's my personal gym. Um, so that really helps because then I don't have to get up and like force myself to go to the gym. Although I do lack motivation, so it is quite hard, but I get up in the morning sometimes and I really don't want to do anything or I really just don't want to work out so I just have to push myself to like just do it and then once I'm in there it's not really the exercising that's really hard to do it's just pushing myself to actually get there and do it in the first place. I do actually prefer the treadmill more than the rowing machine not a massive fan of the rowing machine um, but yeah and I'd like to keep you updated with that like my weight loss journey and I feel like the hardest thing for me isn't exercise in any way, it's actually the eating part of it. Um, I mean, I don't eat proper meals, I, I'm more of a snacker. Um, so I'll have like a sandwich and that will be it for the whole day normally, or I'll just like have little bits here and there. Um, but they're not really good, like bread's not good for you. So yeah, that's my hard part that I struggle with. I kind of got like two or three that are kind of the same. So basically, one of my goals is to save up for a car um, slash buying a car this year. Well, it doesn't have to be this year, but as long as I'm aiming for it. Um, in fact, all of these goals are not, I haven't got like a time limit on them because they can be ongoing. I would like to get some of them done this year uh, because that is the goal I'm heading for. So yeah, so save up for a car slash buy a car would be nice. Um, because I've tried driving lessons before and I feel like because of my anxiety I thought of an idea of buying myself a car and then my dad can teach me because he basically taught my mum how to drive um, when she was younger so I feel like that would be better because then I'd save on money anyway because my dad's basically teaching me and then once I've done as much as what he can teach me I'll then, you know, start doing actual driving lessons with a proper professional and then hopefully I won't need to do that many driving lessons and then they'll want to send me for a driving test. Um, but then I do need to do my theory again because that ran out at the end of November last year and I passed that on my second time so I'm not really worried about doing my theory again because I've done it before, I've passed it, so I know that I can do it. I know that might sound a bit cocky, but I'm not trying to come across like that at all. So yeah, that just comes in with learning to drive and uh, doing my theory and all the car stuff. Um, so yeah, super excited about that. And the next one kind of ties in with it all, in a way. Like, I'm really bad with money. I mean, I'm getting better, but I'd really like to save. Like, I'm really bad at saving money. I can't really do it. Um... I used to be really bad with money, like I used to prioritise um, like getting new clothes or anything like that rather than paying my bills. So then I'd spend all my money on like clothes or whatever and then I'd pay my bills, try and buy, then I'd try and pay my bills after. Um, 
which is not really a good idea because then I'd have no money left and then I'd get in debt and yeah, not really a good way. But um, as much as I hate it, I do prioritise my bills over anything else now, which is really good. So I am learning, but uh, I do struggle with saving money. So, and my, and my mum's really good at saving money, like really good. Um, my dad's not though, so I must get it from him. <laughs> now, a big thing that I really wanna do is is to upload more on youtube because i really really do enjoy filming uploading sometimes the editing is a little bit tough and can wear me down a bit because if a video is really long or whatever it takes it takes a while um not only that i feel like at christmas time as well you want to put things out on certain days like I don't know when it was Christmas day. When it was Christmas day, like what I got for Christmas and Christmas vlogs and stuff like that. You want them to go out at a certain time because you don't really want to leave it too long after Christmas day to put it up because Christmas will be gone in no time. Like it literally just once Christmas day is over, I feel like that's the end of the year. It goes super quick. And same with New Year's Eve, like if you've done a New Year's Eve vlog like I did, I don't really want to be putting that up halfway in January or the end of January or something like that. So there's like time limits on things. Um, so I do struggle a little bit with that. Um, I don't think I've got the scheduling thing quite down yet. Um, but I'm learning and experiencing things and having so much fun doing YouTube. Vlogs are one of my most favourite things to do. Although I will say it's it's super hard to vlog because especially now it's not Christmas. I haven't really got that much to vlog because my life guys, it isn't very exciting. There isn't much to film. Uh, most of the time I'm either doing housework, exercising, uh, looking after my niece and nephew, um, just watching a load of YouTube myself to be honest. Um, so there's not that much to vlog and I feel like that would be quite boring um, for me to upload a vlog like that. Although I did have the idea of kind of like filming a day in the life of me so you actually get to see what I get up to. Which is not a lot like I just said but if you still want to see that make sure you give this video a thumbs up and comment below. Um, but yeah, that is the kind of thing that I'm thinking about. I've got quite a few ideas for like kind of like main channel kind of videos. I don't know if they're the best ideas, but I'm going to try and film them anyway. I guess it's better than no video. Um, but it's just the vlog thing, which is annoying for me because that is, like I said, that is my favourite thing to do. Another thing, I'm not too sure if you guys actually know this, but... Um, I do smoke. I have quit before for a whole year um, and then there was something went on and it made me uh, smoke again and basically I want to quit because uh, my mum's quit so I want to try and quit as well because it is a bad habit, it isn't nice, it's disgusting and it's a waste of money and it's not good for your health overall. That is another thing that I'd like to achieve thing that is kind of involving with my anxiety I would like to go out more um, not like drinking wise or anything like that but even if it's just to go out for a walk like if I haven't really got anything to do or no purpose to actually go outside to do like go to the shops or whatever it is um, just go for a walk like there's no problem in going for a nice walk sometimes it's nice especially in the morning like people actually say hello to you um, and it's fresh outside so it's quite nice and it's peaceful um, so yeah that's another thing that I'd like to do is to go out more because what I realised in December is I can push myself I mean I think there is a limit as we as I saw on New Year's Eve if you saw the vlog you would have saw it too um, I think there is a limit definitely but I feel like I can push myself more than what I have been doing because December did really show me that. I went out, like I said in my New Year's Eve vlog, I went out more and done more things out of my comfort zone than I ever did, ever had, than I ever had during the whole of 2019. And if I can push myself a little bit more and, I don't know, venture out a little bit and get to experience new things and just, you know, live my life properly, 
then that would be amazing. So I'm gonna try it. Um, I may have bad days, I may have good days, but you know, like I just said, I may have bad days, but there's always gonna be good days. Um, so yeah, I'm quite looking forward to seeing how that goes. I will update you if you'd like, because I know that I did an anxiety video and you guys really liked that and I suppose you relate because a lot of people do struggle with mental health and I feel like I got a good reaction of my New Year's Eve vlog as well because the amount of thumbs up that I got um, I've actually had a couple more subscribers and I don't know if that's because of that video or not but I'm guessing that it is um, I am like just so grateful for all the likes and the subscribes and stuff like that because it really does mean a lot um but yeah it, it's been amazing i literally like felt emotional like in a good way um because like i've had three or four people subscribe to my channel lately and that may not seem a lot to others or to you watching but for me that seems like a lot because I don't know it just means a lot the fact that I can potentially kind of grow my channel and um, make this my career because that is the ultimate dream I don't really care about the money or the fame or anything like that because I'm not really interested in that I mean obviously it's a bonus of doing it but I just it's the only thing that I find that I really truly enjoy is making videos I can't really seem to find anything else that I enjoy as much as I do this. Another thing that I know a lot of people are doing is going vegan. So I've heard a lot of good things about vegan food. Like it basically tastes the same as like say a normal burger would. I'd like to go vegan for a month or at least try it for as long as I possibly can. I don't think in my mind right now that it would be a long-term thing to go vegan because I just I feel like that would be a thing for me but then I could surprise myself and absolutely love it and want to stay on it forever but it's just something I feel like I'm a lover of meat um, so I don't think like I could give up certain meat but basically my favorite meat is pork so I love my sausages I love my bacon like i'm obsessed with it and just recently i'm really really loving chicken more i mean i've always liked chicken but just recently like i way much prefer a chicken burger to a normal burger i just do fingers crossed i can try going vegan um for longer than a day i feel like i'm gonna introduce myself to it like slowly like i'm gonna get my mum to like buy the burgers and, and like try them sort of things first now the next one is a little bit funny because it's a running joke in my family so basically you you guys won't know this i don't think i don't think i've ever said this i'm not too sure but basically i live in my pajamas i really do i have clothes you know and i could get dressed but something in my mind says what is the point in getting dressed if one you haven't got no one to impress and two you're not going out what's the point in that if you're staying at home what is the point in getting dressed you might as well stay comfy in your pajamas that is my mindset it's a bad mindset to have but that is my mindset so i basically live in my pajamas not even joking nearly every single day i'm in my pajamas and i don't get dressed i'll get in the shower like nearly every day and get fresh pajamas on but it's hardly ever i will get dressed so funny one one of my goals for 2020 is to get dressed more um because that is a bad mindset to have and although like pajamas are the most comfiest thing in the world and yeah it's a bad habit i need to get rid of it get out <laughs> gone um so yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna try to dress more often that's my goal serious guys another goal that i have which i don't know if this is possible or not i would really like to reach 500 subscribers by the end of the year um i'd really like to hit 1000 subscribers but i feel like that's quite high well 500 uh, subscribers is quite high as well 
Um, so that's where I'm gonna aim towards is 500 subscribers is my goal. I don't know if I can do it, or I should, should I say, I don't know if we can do it, um, but I feel like that sometimes depends on me. Uploading videos, so I'm gonna try. If you guys could like share um, my channel or videos with people and try to get me to 500 subscribers by the end of the year, I would be so grateful. Like, I can't even imagine hitting 500 subscribers. And I know that might not seem a lot to a lot of people, but that is like, a big deal for me like 500 like even 200 subscribers for god's sake would be a lot like yeah that would be amazing um but yeah that is my Another goal thing is like socializing more because with my anxiety um yeah again i don't socialize that much like i have one best friend that lives in scotland that i don't really see and even when she does come down like she don't come down that often but when she does come down I don't really see her much then either because I'm too scared to go out because of my anxiety. Um, if someone comes around like my nan and granddad or like my mum's friends or whatever, I'll come out and say hi and stuff. I will sit there majority of the time that they're around. Um, same with anyone else that comes around, I'm not ignorant. Um, but I feel like when I'm saying I want to socialise more, I feel like I want to make some new friends or reconnect with some old ones um, because I have, I have friends that I talk to every now and again, that they struggle with uh, like depression or anxiety. So I feel like they understand anyway. If I set up a friend date to meet up with them and then suddenly got really anxious and wanted to leave, I feel like they'd understand. I, just, I feel like it's the fear of letting people down. I don't like letting people down, um, but it's one of my goals. So I'd like to socialize more, get out there, you know? And with that is another goal that's connected to basically nearly everything is work on my anxiety. I need to do that, I really do. Um, because like I said in my actual anxiety video, I need to live my life. Um, it's a hard one and I feel like it's always gonna be an ongoing struggle, but it might get easier. I'm, I'm really trying guys, I am. I know. I speak a lot about me mental health and anxiety and I don't want it to get boring um, but I know that a lot of people do struggle with it and it's a serious topic to talk about. I just want to help and share so and the last one I believe it's the last one is it the last one kind of ties into it as well um, to love myself I mean I'm getting there I am um, I feel more happy about myself and my body and um, I just recently, like, you know they say you should, like, repeat something to make yourself think it. Not in a cocky way or anything like that, like, or arrogant or stuck up or whatever, but, like, it's quite, like, a deep conversation to go and end on, but, um, I've never really thought that I'm pretty, um, on the, in on the inside or outside, like, I'm not really that confident. I may come across as confident, but... Not in that. It may seem a bit weird, but I was looking at myself in the mirror and going, I am pretty, I am beautiful. I mean, I think it's gonna take a while to sink in there, but I wanna feel better about myself. I don't wanna feel shit about myself. But I need to work on loving myself. I'm getting there, but there's a long way to go. Because they do say, before you can love someone, you should love yourself. And that's another thing that I put into my mind that I don't need a boyfriend or a man. I just want one. So I don't need one. And that makes me feel a lot better. I don't need one. There's no rush to get married and have kids. You know, I will do all that when the time is right. So that that's basically it. It's just about focusing on me and my family. So I hope you enjoyed our little chat of my goals for 2020. Have a hot chocolate with me next time. <laughs> Let me know some of your New Year's resolutions or goals for 2020 in the comments below. If you're new or you've been watching me for a while and you haven't subscribed, make sure you do because it does mean a lot. Uh, like the video if you enjoyed it. Join me on this 2020 journey and 
I shall see you soon with another video. I love you all so much. You all mean the world to me. And thank you for being here with me. Bye.